Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I sounded surprised that I was starting there. Um, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 19. I am here, of course, on Grizzly Mountain. Yeah, that was just strange. Um, yeah. <sighs> it's, uh, it could well be because I'm sort of miles away from my normal routine here today. Yes, even us old Gimpy folks have routines, guys. And, uh, normally, um, Why are you no Mickey Branch? There you go. He's getting some interference from whatever it parked itself on. But, uh, yeah, normally I'm uh, on bright and early in the morning here and get things sorted out, but I decided today I would take advantage of the fact that one of our local grocery stores opens very early in the morning. They're actually open at 7 a.m. And uh, that's kind of when I like to... Uh, are you going to give it to me? How about if I stand that up, boy? Alrighty. Yeah, don't ever do this at home, kids. But yeah, they're open really early in the morning, so I decided I would go and get my... Uh, do my banking, get my grocery shopping done, that sort of thing. Unfortunately, we also uh, just had the coldest night we've had in probably 20 years. It actually went down to minus 10. Now, I mean, that's nothing. I know that uh, most of this amazing country I live in, that's the daytime temperature high at this time of the year. If they're lucky. But yeah, this is um, a little bit different region. And, you know, whereas you go back to Ontario where it's cold all darn winter, you'll find things like triple glazed windows and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, you have a, an outlet in front of your car so you can plug in your uh, block heater and these sort of things. Well, not so here. Um, in fact, most places, my apartment including, included, sorry, still has, there we are, anything else you can find in there, nope, okay, um, still has single pane windows, as, uh, archaic as that is. I mean, they're not even efficient in warm weather places, you know, because they won't keep the cool in if you have an air conditioner either, they're just, you know, oh, come on, give me an angle. I hate these little trees. Ooh, nice. Don't usually get away with that, cutting them below the surface the first time. But yeah, needless to say, it was uh, extremely cold. Um, at minus 10, my car was going, when did we move to Alaska, man? And I was going, I don't know, I'm too c c cold to tell. But, um, yeah, just weird stuff, like I go into the store and spend half an hour in there after having already spent darn near 45 minutes getting the ice off of my vehicle, so, you know, from the inside and outside of the windows. <laughs> and uh, after less than half an hour, I come back to find it frozen solid. And then the fun began because I went and checked my groceries and stuff in, by opening the passenger's door for the first time and the cold snap and of course the lock froze. <laughs> yeah, so I throw everything in oh, that's the wrong way. Oh good, it didn't fall down. Must have heard me. Um, I throw everything in and then of course the door won't close. Oh yeah, close, but it won't stay closed. Are you just what are you? You really have no idea, do you, tree? There we go, at least now I'll be able to recognize it as being the one cut. So, yeah, I uh, ended up having to take the uh, passenger side seat belt and run it through the uh, door closing handle on the uh, side of the car, <laughs> and then uh, push the seat back far enough so that the seat belt was at absolute maximum tension, 
and it held the door closed all the way home. <laughs> so yeah, it was just one of those sort of days. So by the time I actually got to sit down and fire up the old pewter and check the mail and do all the sorts of things that we all do in our normal day, it was, uh, well, considerably later. As you can see by the real clock on the screen there, it's almost noon here in uh, beautiful, sunny Powell River, British Columbia. I mean, that's the one thing. I've also not had to have any heat on in January during the days because it had... What are you doing? Why don't the trees fall down, man? Oh, this is the one I already cut nine times. <laughs> Okie dokie, then. Alright. I've decided what I'm going to do here, actually, is the first field that I'm going to put in... Okay, that's going to run right along here. Still going, still going, okay. I'm going to put in a big grass field. We have... Uh, as you can see, we've got chickens there. We've also got cows and we've got pigs. So... We'll do a grand tour as we sort of get to them and deal with them. Now, I don't have any animals. We have... Uh, so, yeah, I don't actually have uh, cows, chickens, and pigs. I have, you know, a cow buyer, a pig pen, and a chicken coop. And yard. And apparently, they really like the chickens here to have lots of running room. Because, you know, chickens are just natural runners. Um... There we go. Alright, and... I actually want to leave trees standing where I can, where they're not going to be a complete, dismal, you know, loss. And as well, of course, that helps with things like soil erosion and such. That's why, uh... You know, especially in places where you might have, uh... The occasional gusty wind sort of weather. It can uh, strip topsoil, especially once it's worked. I mean, obviously, with all this grass and all of the associated, associated mycorrhizal beneath the grass, you, this stuff ain't gonna blow away. Once we strip all the goodies off it, be a different story. And some of these trees, you can literally run from end to end, and every branch peels off them. I think you've got to be at that perfect angle. All right. Now, I saw one of those annoying little, there it is, pretend trees. They're okay if you can get the... Uh, I like to just bob up and down a few times here just to see if it'll catch again. I've actually had it catch three or four times and cut deeper and deeper under the ground. So, yeah, they're kind of an annoyance, those little guys. All right. That, as they say, is that. So, what I need to do, of course, is uh, cut stumps and move some wood. Uh, what I'd like to do, I think, first off, is let's get rid of the stumpage. Alrighty. Uh, tractors, no idea. Oh, I ended up... Uh, as you can see, I've got our silage pit in there. We've got, I believe, cow or pig or something. Cow and pig over there. Chickens down there. We've got our grain silo. And here we've got our uh, buy your goodies stuff. And... <laughs> I just decided to paint this with pavement, because, you know, that's a, a, a that's a human thing. If all else fails, we'll just pave it over, nobody will ever know what was there before. So, yeah, we're going to do that. So, yesterday was rather an unusual day. I know I've mentioned that uh, my office chair is, well... pretty much a candidate for the world's cheapest antiquities. Um, you know, it's a vinyl-covered boardroom chair from literally 30 years ago. Um, has been used almost constantly since. So, 
Yeah, I already had the uh, the double hose clamps on the uh, the piston that holds it up. Otherwise, it would under just the weight of the cushion, it would sink down to the ground. Um, what do I need? I need a winch and I need a stump and grinding. Alrighty, so stump grinder. Where did I put my stump grinder? Um, I oh, I know where it is. <laughs> well, I might know where it is. I might. So I'm thinking of putting a shed in right there. Right. In fact, that's a really good idea, because right now I'm just sort of dropping things all over the, the yard. I suppose, I wonder. I could probably put a shed in backwards there, right? Let's give that a try, shall we? Indeed. But yeah, um, the office chair. So, it reached a point where basically I had two pillows on it, plus a lumbar cushion, etc., etc., and would still get pretty achy, especially with my uh, wonderful falling-the-heck-apart bones. And, uh, oh, I've forgotten what the heck I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Ah, shed. <laughs> I knew it would come to me. But, uh, so, I've been tucking a few bucks away here and tucking a few bucks away here, and then I said, screw it, and I sold one of my digital cameras because I don't really need three of them. Uh, I inherited two of them, so. Um, and I ordered a, uh, a chair from uh, Amazon. Yes, indeed. And it arrived yesterday. Now, of course, it's one of these race car style chairs because, in all honesty, um, for the money, even my local staples can't compete with just a normal office chair. So... I figure that I would have a look at them and compare them, and I've reviewed them and such for months. Um, now, let's have a look here, shall we? Okay. Get in nice and close. Is this actually bigger than that? And I finally picked one that I... Uh, there we are, there's a good view that I thought was, you know, a dollar per review, probably one of the best. Not that I know what they were paying for their reviews, but, you know. And, uh, yeah, I picked myself up a new chair, long story short. Okay, now, the worst, okay, left control Q and E. It doesn't seem to have done a lot for me lately. Like, I don't know that that's actually moving it up or down at all. It's certainly left control. I don't think that's quite even either, is it? Let's see if we can't give her one more bit of a twitch. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it's okay, eh? Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so now that we have a place to park our kit, as it were, let's do so. See, yeah, it takes some getting used to. Um, my other chair had basically deteriorated to just this floppy, poorly built things that I had elastic bands holding padding on the arms, and the arms eventually just fell apart underneath it type of thing, so... Yeah, as well as no longer being able to adjust the angle or adjust the up and down height or anything else. And I've actually uh, built my last two computer benches based on the height of that chair and its inherent unadjustability. So, I don't know which end of this thing's up. Let's have a look here. Uh, okay, that looks like it has what we need. And what else do I need? I need the tow line. So, I guess I want this on the front, 
but I don't know when I want it on the uh, loader itself, to be honest with you. Yeah, those, uh, those two little lawn chairs, that's our farmhouse. Yeah, I really went cheap this time. And I'm sure the first time I have to sleep out here in the rain, I'll regret it. So yeah, the chair arrived yesterday morning. The uh, poor Amazon girl that delivered it. She had to use a fridge dolly to get up my little uh, stairway. <laughs> poor thing. And uh, I don't know, I guess I was in a mood because she got to the top and banged on the door like she was trying to break it in half. And uh, so I opened the door and I smiled at her because she had my chair and I went, was that fun? <laughs> I have no idea what inspired me to say that. But, uh, she says, well, it was heavy. <laughs> I'm like, yes, well, thank you very much for bringing that to me. And uh, yeah, then spent the next hour assembling it, which for a gimpy old bugger like me was fun. In fact, I was so sore by the end of it, I actually couldn't sit in it. So just mainly because of where I ended up assembling it and then the fact that I couldn't uh, lift it up over the furniture to get it into my room because, as I say, I was so freaking sore by that point. But anyway, I'm uh, sitting in it now. It takes some getting used to, uh, like I said, because I've gone from sort of this big floppy chaired thing to, uh, you know, well, these, these kind of grab you, you know, and it has... Uh, a nice head re or neck rest pillow and it's got a nice lumbar support pillow and they're height adjustable and yeah a neat little bit of kit of course it's black with bright orange and white accents <laughs> which is a wonderful thing all right let's turn on the login winch no nope, that isn't what i want to turn on i'm on the wrong tool let's actually uh let's turn on our forestry mulcher There we are. And yeah, I'm uh, actually finding it quite comfortable. It's such a novel thing to be able to, uh, you know, adjust the arms and tilt it in different angles and do all of that things. And yeah, quite nice, quite nice. Now, I haven't yet tested the uh, built-in USB lumbar massage from its built into the lumbar cushion. But uh, I've had ones for vehicles and stuff. Because my hips are so bad, that it puts added stress on my back. So every once in a while, I have to be really careful about it because it'll just torque itself out of shape for weeks on end. Where the heck did I fall all the rest of those trees? I know I was busier than that. Hmm. Yeah, no. all right. Well, that's kind of strange. I suppose we can turn the mulcher back on. Probably saves us a little diesel while we're driving around. All right, where's that tree that refused to come down? Is that it? No, that isn't it. Oh, no, that isn't it. There it is. Yeah. I didn't need to cut this one down. I'm going to go actually between these. I want to leave as many of these nice big trees up. They're good money when you cut them up. Like, make no mistake, man. You can get pretty, pretty good. Boom, there you are. See? And that's why they have a cage on the forestry tractor. Ta-da! Bye-bye, tree. Awesome. Let's turn that mulchicator back on. And... Okay, now what is that? Is that still that little piece that, for some reason, yeah, it is too, eh? Although I guess, yeah, with this one, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? 
Although I can't pick it up, so maybe it's actually a bit of stump. Hmm. That would be disappointing, because I know what will happen if I try and put uh, anything over it. No, oh, well. if it ain't gone, it ain't gonna. I'm gonna do the same thing here. See if I can't. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see happen. See, generally that does a pretty good job. So I have a feeling that was just a piece of something, and I couldn't uh, lock onto it. I hope that's not chewing up my log. No, it's just in the way. Can I, uh... Yeah, see, make a great pushing tool. Gotcha. There we go. Lift it up so we can get her back over. Nice. This is the only problem with this one, is you really can't... Unlike the uh, Giants version with a nice crane arm, you can see what's going on. You really can't with this one from inside. So you kind of have to roll on up to it. And again here, I'm just going to see if I can't push that log on. There we go. Okay, come up a bit. Should be down there somewhere. Alright, looks like we got her. Indeed. And... What else have we got? Oh, I've got another one here. Alright. Yeah, basically what I want to do is run a grass strip all the way along through here. Now, I know this tree's a little bit annoying. Yeah, you do have to go, you know what? I'm sorry, man, but... And I'd like to follow you that way. It'd be less trouble to me. Excellent. And see, that was one of those ones that you could just run along with the saw and go for gold. There we are. Uh, no, you're a separate bush. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do, is just run a big strip of grass through the center here. Now what are you? I mean, you're not of any need to me anyways. Uh, what about this one? I don't think I was going to do this guy either. No, just over there. Okay. So, that one's clear. That one's clear. It's, uh proceed a blue over to this one. Again, we'll just drop this down, use it for a bit of a pushy. There we go. Yeah. Let's see if we can find the stone. Lynch. Oh, there, I felt it bump over it. Okay, I think we got it on our first go. Pull back out of range. Yep, looks good. Looks good. And one more. I found the stump. <laughs> I guess one might be a bit higher than the others. Alrighty. I do believe. We should pretty much be de-stumped. Alright. Alrighty. Cool. So next up... I need to figure out what I want to use for a log sort. I might just do what I did before and take them into the... Uh, the back of the shop property there. 
Look, I'm Linda Blair. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I could even go on both sides of those, I think, if I wanted to. Just leave it upright. So, let's, uh... Oh, look at that, eh? It's a stump. Oh, my guppies. Uh, you need to go down, so I give that a little push. There we are. Okay. There we are. That wasn't too bad. So how long are you? Hmm. Really? Eh? So. That's why I always like that measure me mod thing. It just gave me a little better idea of log length. we can pretty much just go in half. Let's take a little bit more off the end. There we go. Now let's divide her up. Is that still running? That is too. There we go. What a waste of diesel, man. What a waste of diesel. No, is this the one I cut up? Could be. I think I first cut was on that bush, so yeah. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Yeah, I'd like to leave these standing. I'm actually going to plow around them. So. All in all, we only ended up taking down half a dozen trees. So not bad. I think that's going to do good for a... Uh, uh oh. There we are. Magic that. Eh. Probably big, but there you be. bucks in the world, being little shorties like that, but hey. Okay. Oh, right, you can't run with a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. With physics like there is in this game, you, you, it's almost laughable that they're concerned with your safety. <laughs> it just is, you know. I mean, heck, you could go to pick up a 4,000 liter bale with a 17 ton tractor and end up in orbit. And yet, yeah, you better not run with that chainsaw there. It's one of those careful with that axe, Eugene. I bet only my UK friends get that one. Alright. 
Not to say they don't listen to the pink over this side, but, uh, yeah, you know. Mostly newer stuff, I think. I don't, uh, know too many people that would have a clue what I was saying if I said, uh, you know. Mentioned several species of small animals gathered together in a cave and grooving with a pict. Would probably go, what? But, in fact, that's, uh, that's Pink Floyd. All right, let's, uh... Let's assume that I've actually cut up some and or most of them. And now where'd that guy that was perched up in the tree? Because I think that would have... Hmm. Well, we'll probably come across it. Likely with a plow. Alright. Yeah, I think we've dealt with... Uh, Dealt with them all. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes. Okay. So I guess what I want to do then, since we've cut them up, is rather than... I don't know why I don't just tab to the tractor. I think it's my only actual drivable vehicle. So I'm likely to end up there, you know. So I was looking at the growth control mod, but uh, currently it's kind of like the GPS mod. I think to be fair with it, you've got to consider it uh, a work in progress at best. So, because mainly you have, you have to set up the parameters in XMLs. After you save the game, once it's loaded, then you go out and you can set the parameters in the XML. Well. Yeah, I'm sure with another iteration or two in the works, uh, what game are you hooked to? Okay, that's not what I wanted. Oh, actually, maybe it is. The thing just falls a little awkwardly. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, really? So it actually hitched right through my fort. Oh! Yikes, okay, I was that's not what I thought was going on there, believe me. Huh. So it is a three-point hitch, and it was hitching to my three-point, but it was doing it right through my front loader. Wow. That's, uh, that's kind of scary. But it's also something I've got to be aware of from now on, and, you know, quit screwing up. Alrighty. So you, however, speaking of three-point hitches... I don't particularly need either. But I need two things. I need to go and grab the trailer and bring it out here. And then I'm also going to need to buy a weight for this tractor because... Uh, where are we? No, we're nowhere near where I want to be. There we go. Bye-bye. I think these log forks weigh enough. <laughs> When you actually throw a log or two, yeah, see, we'll see what kind of money we get when I clean that mess up. But yeah, once you actually throw a log or two on there, you, uh, you spend a lot of time standing on your snoot. Indeed. Oh, wow, we've already cooked through an episode. Hmm, well, what we'll do here, I'm just going to park the trailer in place for the moment. Oh, we have, uh, new manure pits. One of which we can buy from, one of which we can sell to. Now, I went with the more difficult ones, which basically means that you can't just park a trailer in front of it and have it autofill, from what I could determine. I actually need to use a, a shovel or a manure. I think it will fill a manure spreader, which is kind of unusual, I guess. All right, now... Whoops. Give her a bit of a twitch the wrong way.
There we go. Uh, extend arm. IT runner. Okay. And clickety boom bang. Now I know they have auto loaders now. So, uh, yeah. Just putting that out there. <laughs> Let's get this thing on board, shall we? Now, I know this is a long way from an autoloader. In fact, this might turn out to be a horribly, horribly awkward thing to use. It's going to depend largely on just how far ye old log forks are willing to go up in the air. Because I'm not running a front loader this time. You'll notice I have considerably less gear than I did the last time. I thought we maybe started a little you know, above our lead there. Now, I don't want to drop off the container. I actually want, uh, you. Boom, chuckalucka. Alright, let's get ourselves a wait. And then I think I'm going to call the episode. We'll get back to our, uh, fancy loading of the logs the next time around. So let's see what we've got for wonderful waits, shall we? Ah, waits. Lots of nice mods for waits out, eh? Echoes, uh, fence itself. What? But this is a front weight. I'm more concerned with a rear style weight. There we go. I think this is a front as well, but I know we do have the straight up rear weights by Ten Winkle here. I like those. Fourteen fifty. It's the biggest they go. Well, that'll do. That will do. Let's, uh, oh, it's only available in that. Why bother? Let's just buy it. Yes. A thousand bucks. I think that's fair. Yeah. Maybe not in real life, I think it was fair, but here, sure. <laughs> Alright, which way did you decide to put that? Okay. Well, interesting choice, but. It works. I don't see it. Oh, that's why. Woof. Oh, yeah. You feel that go on there, I'll tell you. All right. Well, with that, guys, we are, as I say, well, we're almost 40 minutes in. So, thank you once again for putting up with my blithering and blathering. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments down below. And if you did enjoy it, of course, don't forget to hit that like button. Believe me, the channel is shika the usual some of So, till next time. Take care of each other, folks. Then ciao for now.